Tech Cocktail Conversations, candid insights from startup founders, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders from around the globe. I'm the founder of Words Live, and it's an English language arts augmentation company. And I developed an algorithm that teaches students how to read and write with writer's techniques so that they can read more proficiently and take literature more proficiently uh, in, in school. Oh, there's, there's tons. So for one, obviously we have the headquarters of Blackboard. And having the proximity to folks like Mr. Chasen and his group allows me and informs us about our processes. And then we're right next to the government agencies. So things like the, the development budget, the development grant, the SBIR grant for Department of Education, we get close proximity to those particular uh, policy makers and, and decision makers. So that, for a company that's starting up in this industry, has been incredibly valuable. Two of the coolest features that we have actually derived directly from what we've done in the classroom. Uh, one is guided annotation. So students are guided through text based on what the writer is doing before annotating what the writer is saying. So the how and the structure informs the annotative ability of the student. So we teach through technique and device first. Uh, so there's guided annotation as you scroll through excerpts and text. Secondly, there's a game that's based on a score, and it's an evaluation of any text. So because the game is so objective, I can score and evaluate, or a student can score and evaluate a song versus a poem versus an excerpt from a novel. So it objectifies figurative language text. We focus pr primarily on sixth grade and up. Uh, we've had the program, at least some of the phases implemented at Cardoza High School, um, Duke Ellington High School, um, Northwestern in PG County, T.C. Williams in Alexandria City. So we haven't typically done charter versus public. We've had teachers and specifically English teachers reach out to us and say, could you incorporate this in our classroom? And we brought it in certain formats that way. There's been some pushback because when you have a systemic approach to literature and it allows you to incorporate a lot of music, Obviously some folks are like, we don't need urban songwriters, or we don't need hip hop in the classroom maybe, or we don't need pop music, and you see you know, Justin Bieber on, a, on, on news for being in trouble. So you get that, that pushback at times, but not, not as heavily as, as, as I once thought sort of enter into it. I think the efficacy of the program sort of speaks for itself. And once you have kids, their engagement levels increase, but their annotative ability and their writing ability is increasing, I think we all want results. And so at the end of the day, that's the big triumph. We, we had this, this particular component of the app, and we haven't even fully developed it ourselves, but kids sort of like latched onto it, and it's called Hook the Book. And that's where, to cite a main theme of a selected text, you have the space of a Twitter feed, 140 characters, to write a hook. So it, you know, something that would surmise what the main theme is, and usually like they like to rhyme it, and like, like a catchy hook to it. So we're taking another music import characteristic and, and using it with literature. The program has been in development for two years. Like we've been in over nine schools in the DC area. And so the last six months, we just, you know, what's the best way to incorporate our terrestrial program into this digital program? So it's just, it's been, you know, selectively doing one program, one component at a time. And speaking with the venture capitalists, they're like, focus on small first. Like they see the size of it, they're like, do small component. What's the easiest one to do? All right, let kids use that, you know, test that out. So we've, we've used that model.